Hello, year three and four. Um, it is lovely to see you and I hope you had a really good holiday. Hope you felt feel really rested and you've been spending night, some nice time at home with your family um, and you've been able to, to get outside sometimes. Um, and now we're back um, in school mode, although we're not in school, we're still in school mode and we're, and we're all um, really up for learning and we're, and we're going to be having a great time this term. Although we're not in the school building, um, we're going to try and make everything as simple and normal as possible. And that's why you're still going to have your music lessons. This is how you're going to receive music lessons each week. You're going to have, uh, you're going to have uh, a video from me that you can look at any time, really, in the week. And you can choose when you want to have your music lesson. And uh, in these lessons, on these video lessons, we're going to have a main part of the lesson near the end where we're going to be learning about something. Uh, but we're also going to have a couple of games and some silly things at the start, um, which is great. Um, so um, we're going to make a start. Um, you will need uh, in this, you will need um, something that uh, you can write with. OK, you'll need a piece of paper and you'll need a pencil. Um, and that's all you'll need, really. Um, so make sure you go and get that now. Uh, you can pause the video now if you need some time to find a pencil and some paper. And, uh, and off you go. Right, so if you've just come back with your pencil and paper, great, we're going to make a start. Uh, I want to do some, um, although I won't be able to hear you, I want you to join in. Make sure you definitely join in um, because it is definitely one of your lessons and you would have to in the music room. So just pretend that I am really here in front of you and I can hear you. So we're gonna start with something that I want you to uh, copy me to. So this is called Lickety Split. And we've done this before in assemblies. We quite often do it to warm up our tongues. And um, you've got to copy everything that I say, except if I say to you, fancy a chip, then you've got to say, yes, please. Okay. All right. So put your shoulders back. Uh, make sure you're sitting really comfortably. And we'll begin. Lickety split. Lickety split. Lickety rickety trickety split. Toodly pip. Hop and a skip. Bouncy a chip. Let's turn the volume down a bit. Lickety split. Lickety split. Lickety rickety trickety split. Skip. Pansy a chip. Let's turn the volume up a bit. Lickety split. Lickety split. Lickety rickety trickety split. Toodly pip. Hop and a skip. Fancy a chip. Let's turn the tempo up a bit. Lickety split. Lickety split. Lickety rickety trickety split. Toodly pip. Hop and a skip. Fancy a chip. Let's turn the tempo up a bit. Lickety split. Lickety split. Lickety rickety trickety split. Toodly pip. Hop and a skip. Fancy a chip. We're out of breath. It's time to quit. Good job. I hope you joined in. I hope you can keep up with me um, so that when we're back at school, you're going to be an expert at that one. Okay, good. The next one that we're going to do is a singing one. And if you're in the senior choir, and I know that lots of you are, then you um, will know the song. Although I'm going to change the tune slightly. It's called High Low Chickalo. High Low Chickalo. So senior choir children, yes, you will know this one. Um, and for the rest of us, we don't. But it's really simple. There's th only three parts, really, to the song. The first bit is high and the next bit is low and the next bit is chicka that's it so we just need to know those three things high low chicka so the song goes high low chicka low chicka low chicka low high low chicka low chicka low high let's try it together Put your hands up in the air for high, down low for low, and in the middle 
from Chica. Hi, low, Chica, low, Chica, low, Chica, low. Hi, low, Chica, low, Chica, low. Hi. We can make it go faster. Are you ready? I'm going to use two both hands now. Hi, low, Chica, low, Chica, low, Chica, low. Hi, low, Chica, low, Chica, low. Hi. I think we can go faster than that. Ready? Hi, low, chicka low, chicka low, chicka low. Hi, low, chicka low, chicka low. Hi. All right. Now, if you have a brother or sister at home, or you, uh, one of your parents, they can help you out with this because you can actually do it with them. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to put your hand beside your partner's hand like that. Have them uh, beside each other. And your other hand, so this hand is going to be against my invisible partner's hand right now. There's an invisible partner who's doing that. And your other hand is going to clap your partner's hand up high. And then your other hand claps your partner's hand down low. So it goes like this. It starts in the middle and it goes, ha, I keep this hand here all the time. High, low, chicka, low, chicka, low, chicka, low, high. Low, chicka low, chicka low, hi. Pause the video if you want to try that um, on your own. And uh, you could make it go faster as well. Okay, so if you've just joined us now after pausing the video, then we can go even faster. And if you want, if you don't have someone that you can do this with, then you can just do it like I'm doing it. You can have your invisible partner, or you could even put your hand against the wall if you wanted to. You'd have to stand up beside the wall and you could have the wall as your invisible partner um, and it goes uh, we're going to do it fast this time are you ready hi low chicka low chicka low chicka low hi low chicka low chicka low hi the geniuses out there might be able to do it backwards now if you were to do it backwards then you just reverse it all around so you keep this hand here but this time instead of starting with high we start with low so it goes like this low high chicka high Chicka high, chicka high, low high, chicka high, chicka high, low. Did you manage it? You might want to pause it and try that. We can also do it much faster the other way around as well. So it goes like this. Low high, chicka high, chicka high, chicka high, low high, chicka high, chicka high, low. Well done. Good. We are going to move on and we are going to do a new warm, a new game that none of us have done before. It's new for everyone, I think. It's called Double Double This This. Double Double This This. Okay. It's a little bit like High Low Chicka Low in that we've got um, just uh, three things that we need to learn and we're going to make it go faster. So Double Double, it, the, the words goes Double, double, this, this, double, double, that, that, double, this, double, that, double, double, this, that. So when we say double, you've got to tap your shoulders like this. Double. Okay, so it goes double, double. Then it goes this, this, double, double, this, this. So this, this, we're going to make click, click. If you can't click, you've got to just pretend to click. Okay, so it goes double, double, this, this. Okay, then it goes double, double, that, that. And for that, that, I think we're going to clap our hands. Or you can clap hands with a partner if you wanted to. You could go double, double, that, that. Imagine that I'm clapping a partner's hand. Or if there's no partner, then you go clap, clap. Double, double, that, that. The next bit goes double this, double that. Try that. Double this, double that. And then the final bit is double, double this, that. Double, double this, that. When you put the whole thing together, it looks like this. Double, double this, this. Double, double that, that. Double this, double that. Double, double this, that. If you want to pause the video and try it now, you can try it on your own or with your partner. And of course, we can make it go faster. So, 
to make it go really fast. Oh my goodness, I'm probably going to make a mistake. If I make a mistake, I think it's okay. If you can make a mistake, I think it's okay as well. <gasps> but let's try, let's try our best. Ready? Double, double this, this, double, double that, that, double this, double that, double, double this, that. Oh, well done. You might want to pause and try that again with your partner, make it go faster or try it on your own a little bit faster. Good. Before we move on to our last part of the lesson, I want to remind everybody that if you go into Google Classroom, um, which I think you're probably on right now because that's how you're watching this video, I have invited you all to a, an extra page called Music Department. And I know that loads of you have already joined it. If you check your school emails, you'll find an invitation from me and you can go onto the Music Department page. And in there, you will find lots of songs that I have recorded and uploaded and some, even some orchestra music. For those of you who are in the orchestra, you can actually look at your music and you can um, play along. And actually, orchestra, there's going to be a special treat for you coming up soon. So we'll check your emails for that. So yeah, check the music department page if you haven't done already and join it. Um, and that way you'll get all the notifications and you'll see all the new things I'm posting on there. Okay. So our final part of today, we're going to be looking at some uh, rhythms, which is something that I know that we've been doing in year three. And in year four, we were going to be doing this this term anyway. Um, rhythms. And I know that because we are such, I'm just getting something, because we are such a talented school, um, I know that loads of you are already experts with rhythms. So here's why you need a piece of paper and a pencil, and I hope you have that already. I've got a whiteboard here I'm going to be using and in fact I'm going to put it like this because I'm left-handed so I can still write and uh, I hope we can all I hope we can see it I might just move my screen a little bit there we go okay now as we know um, the main notes that we've been covering in music and even if we haven't um, it's really simple to learn are notes that go down on their own and notes that go together. The notes that go down like this have a special name. And we can also put circles on the bottom too, like that, and make it a bit darker. So on your piece of paper, you can draw me one of these, and then you can also draw me these. This kind of note here has a few names. Lots of people call it different things. And I know that most people in our country, when they learn about this kind of note, we call it a crotchet. And how many beats does a crotchet last for? It lasts for one. In music lessons, sometimes we don't call it crotchet. Sometimes for fun, we call it something else. We call it T. We call it T because it's really easy to remember that when you say T, it lasts for one. T. Okay. So we've got T notes. And what about these? Well, lots of you who have been learning music with te your teachers will know that these two notes here are called quavers. A bit like the crisps. Quavers. And we give it another name in music, a bit like T. We call it, you might be saying it out loud right now, you might have written it down already. We call it coffee. And we call it coffee because again, calling it coffee makes us remember um, how it sounds. It goes coffee, like that. So, so far our rhythm goes like this. Tea, coffee, tea, coffee. Can you clap that with me? Or you can tap it on your lap like that. Tea, coffee, tea, Tea, coffee, tea, coffee. Now, here's where things get tricky because I want you to try and remember how many beats coffee lasts for. If I was to take one of these notes on its own, if I was to take it away from being joined on, it would look like this. I know I'm not making it very beautiful. I know I'm not the best drawer in the world, but it would look a little bit like that with a little tail one of these notes here 
plus four, half a beat, that's for half a beat. So if you have a half beat here and a half beat there, when they're joined together, oh dear, that's a bit messy. <laughs> they last, so half and half makes one. So actually coffee, uh, two of these coffee notes together makes one beat as well. So we actually have one, 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 tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee. You can actually hear that they both last for one, don't, can't you? Tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee. Good. Now, I want you below to do this with me, okay? Make sure you got your pen and your pencil and your paper. Um, because the game that we just did was double, double this, this, double, double that, that. Um, and that game uses T notes and it uses coffee notes. It uses crotchets and it uses quavers. So at the beginning, double, double this, this. Hmm. Can you draw me below what you think the rhythm would be? for double, double, this, this, using tea and coffee notes. If you want, you should, in fact, you probably should pause the video now because I'm about to show you, show you the answer. So for double, double, this, this, what would you draw with the rhythm? Okay, so pause the video now. Okay, I hope that everyone's done the answer. And remember, if you don't get this right, doesn't matter, we're allowed to make mistakes in music. Okay, so double, double, this, this. Let's think, double, double. Is that tea or is it coffee? I think it's going to be coffee, isn't it? So the first bit, double, is actually coffee, isn't it? Double, and then there's another one, isn't there? Double, 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 this, this. I think you know what it's going to be now, don't you? T, T. Double, double, this, this. If you drew this, well done you. Then the next line, double, double, that, that. Well, I'm actually just going to tell you, that's the same as this. Double, double, that, that. So we can draw it again. Double, double double, and I'm sure yours will look neater than mine, that, that. The next line's not the same. The next line goes double this, double that. Hmm. Pause the video and see if you can draw what that rhythm is. Double this, double that. So, hopefully, this is what we got. Double this, double that. So, double it's got to be these quavers, doesn't it? These coffee notes. Double this. This. That's got to be that, doesn't it? A one beat note. Uh, well, they're all one beat notes, actually. Uh, one note on its own. Double this. Mm -hmm. Double that. Did you draw that line with me? Did you draw that line when we paused it? I hope you did. If you did, give yourself a pat on the back. And then the last line is... Double, double, this, that. And if you're a genius, then you will know that we've already drawn that rhythm. Double, double, this, that. Is it this line? It's this line here. In fact, these two, they're the same. So the last line goes double, double, this, that. And you can draw in the circles. We have now completely drawn the rhythm for the game Double Double This That. Okay, let's check. Hmm, check I've not made any mistakes. I'm checking that we can see it in the camera still. Double Double This This Double Double That That Double This Double That Double Double This that, I don't think I made a mistake. Well done you. Very, very good, everybody. 
I want you to say to yourself, one, two, three, well done, me. Say it really loud and really proud. I will see you all next week for another video. Don't forget to go on to Google Classroom Music Department page and find all the other songs and things that I've been that I've put on there and keep checking it too because I'm going to be putting lots of other things on there. Have a great rest of your week, year three and four. Bye.